was a big hit for the Backstreet Boys in 1999. All these years later, the boys are back in a big way. Here's Tracy Smith with a summer song. Never or not, if you were alive in the 90s, you probably can sing along. Backstreet's back, all right. Backstreet's back, all right. Back in the day, they were a phenomenon. Hysterical fans fainted, a frenzy some compared to Beatlemania. And with more than 130 million records sold worldwide, they remain the best-selling boy band of all time. Their new album, DNA, has brought new life to the band and their first chart topper in more than a decade. That's not what love's supposed to do. The boys are really men at this point. Nick Carter, Howie DeRoe, AJ McLean, Brian Luttrell, and Kevin Richardson. Baby, don't go break my heart, break my heart. When Don't Go Breaking My Heart was released, it shot to number one on iTunes. What was your reaction? What, what? is happening? Thank you, God. <laughs> Thank you, God. Thank you, God. <laughs> this was the scene at the Grammy Museum in Los Angeles, where the guys helped open a Backstreet Boys interactive exhibit. Fans who grew up screaming and dreaming of a close encounter are getting a second chance. <laughs> on display, treasures from their youth like the costumes from their first hit in America. Baby, baby. I remember these outfits from the video, but they were a lot wetter. They oh, were yeah. very well, wet. One of them was completely off of someone, which would be Howie. <laughs> Howie's was pretty much off the entire time. Businessman Lou Perlman brought them together in 1993. Kevin, the oldest, was 21. Nick was just 13 a boy band that became a sometimes dysfunctional family. He brought it up to my attention when I was 14. 13. I was 13. 13. My parents had signed over uh, guardianship to him. So he was actually raising me on the road at like 13, 14 years old. We love hard, but we also fight hard. I mean, there's been fist fight fights in there. Oh, yeah. You guys have there's had fist fights? Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Who's fought who? There's been <laughs> me and him. Me and we didn't because he fight. burned I my comic. I punched you a lot, but you didn't punch back. <laughs> Did AJ grab you like this or Nick? No, that was no, Nick that was and AJ. Nick. <laughs> Nick, Nick holds the record for the most fight. Yeah. Tell me why. That chemistry worked. In 1999, their album Millennium sold more than a million copies the first week alone. And as the boys cranked out hit after hit, their rather devoted fan base expanded across the globe. But all the while, Lou Pearlman, who they affectionately called Big Papa, was cheating them, raking in millions while the boys were still struggling to pay bills. When they found out, they sued, then settled. You were looking at five individuals that paid $5 million a piece to rid him of their lives. So he owes so you money, and you guys paid, paid him, him to yeah. get rid of him. Yeah. Basically. We all loved him and admired him and looked up to him as a businessman. But then when, when the curtain was pulled back and it was revealed that he was ripping us off and taking advantage of us. It broke our hearts. It broke our hearts. It hurt. So many words. The drama took its toll. First AJ, then Nick, battled drug and alcohol abuse. And in 2006, Kevin left the band, but the band refused to leave him. Every reality TV program came to us and said, oh, we can That's find right. another yep. Kevin if you'll yep. sign on. We wouldn't no. do it. It's like building a house. And yeah. we built this career for 26 years with a part of Kevin's blood, sweat, and tears, and yeah. we weren't going to replace him. We will never turn our backs on each other. Are we going to talk about that? Even Are we going to talk the about the fact version, that you don't necessarily sound voice. as good as you used to? The demo Are we going to talk about that? And their bond was tested again. In the documentary, Show Him What You're Made Of, Brian, who sang lead on so many hits, revealed he suffers from muscle tension dysphonia. Simply put, under stress, he loses his voice. Baby, please try. 
about your voice because yeah. you have had this issue. I have. It's a work in progress, as you know that I can talk to you right now. Um, probably four or five years ago, I was not able to talk. Not talk? So if you can't talk, you can't really sing. What did so, you do? Uh, therapy, um, a lot of soul searching. The guys, did they ever say to you, we want you out? No. No, they never said that we wanted you out. It was just, it took its toll on the band. Through it all, the band stayed intact. Get down, get down, and, move it all and in 2017, launched a Las Vegas residency, which became the fastest selling show in Vegas history. Embracing their resurgence, the group began releasing new music. What are the chances? And they decided to take a chance on a new world tour, their biggest in 18 years. So they retreated far from the lights of the Vegas Strip to a rehearsal studio in the historic town of Lidditz, Pennsylvania. Nerves, fears, uh, anticipation. This tour to me is like almost like a second coming of the Backstreet Boys. <laughs> Loneliness is no longer an issue. The boys are all married men with eight children between them. I love you. I love you, Dad. Tears flowed as Brian watched his 16 year old son, Bailey, open their show for the first time in Washington, D.C. Like and backstage, the dressing room is now a family room. This is like minutes before you're about to go oh, yeah. on. Literally, oh, yeah. two like minutes. two minutes. Yeah. Two minutes. And, and, yeah. and here we are just hanging with the family. Yeah, we're, we're going to do, do a little prayer. prayer. What do you think? God bless America! Tell me why. Two and a half decades after it all began, they're on a sold out tour with a new hit album. We never changed. We've always stayed true to who we are. For us to stay on this steady path for the last 26 years and never falter, it actually worked. You it know, I off. mean, it paid off. And that kind of staying power has got to make the guys feel good. Maybe even larger than life. Yeah.